Yeah, I know, it's on the phone. Not as clear as it could be. Man, I can't hold still. But there's a view. Yesterday was sun breaks like this and showers. And a couple times even a lot brighter than this. So we got a total of 1.4 inches of rain. Yeah, I think it's supposed to rain today and maybe tomorrow too. Then a day or two off and then do it again. We'll see what it really does. But, yeah, there's the morning. I'm moving slow this morning. But I'm moving. And I was going to buy a new brake master cylinder for Ron's bike and put it on, but I told him it was bad, needed to do something with it. And that's been a week or so ago. He pops right back with, oh, I got one order, it'll be here Tuesday, I'll get it dropped by. <laughs> well, he had it with him yesterday. I kind of planned on throwing it on yesterday, but didn't get to it. Time we got stuff found and cleaned up and, and got to work on the tractor, but it doesn't do, there's nothing till right there. I mean, it works, but nothing till you're there. So, yeah, it's a little different one, but appears to be the same setup. So, I think I'm going to. While it's not raining, take this up in front of the shop and change that. It's not hard. Banjo fitting here. Two bolts there. Swap it. Pop the top, fill it up. That's all there is to it. Hopefully. This new $16 brake master. All on there. So, and it works much better. Trying to check stuff on the loose gravel coasting downhill and hitting it. But I've got plenty of room left before it bottoms out and it's working. Seems the left brake's locking up when I squeeze hard and the right one's not. But I don't feel it pulling so might still have an issue. It's just not an issue that's a big problem at the moment. So thank you Ron. That's together. And... I might end up doing flooring today. Thrills me to no end. Because getting up and down is not what I want to do. Yeah, I'm going to say things. Rubbed a little more again, but it is what it is. Sucker's still going to work. Going to put it in. Get it. Probably go ahead and run it today. That way it's done up here. Because even though Mother Nature's done a good job, only an inch and a quarter, but yeah, Mother Nature's water works better, but I still got to get some water back down there on the bottom, and I'll probably run this one back down there. And the lane's pretty mucky. I mean, it, it's funny. We can water, even with the big gun, we can water through here and soak that lane, and these cows can be coming up the lane, and they really don't make a mess of it. Mother Nature gives you not even 24 hours of rain and it's a real shithole and they were up for a little bit this morning but they were all back out by the time we fed so they're out here but here's what I was going to show you this piece before mother nature hit it wasn't as good as it is now and you know, keep in mind I mean what 30 hours ago the rain started we got a whole inch and a quarter and this has perked up quite a bit from what it was and it's already been watered before that and if you look around everything's wet and I'm really glad I cleaned up around the steers feeder over there because I mean it'd be hard to even get into their feeder even though it's not far off the gravel well it's got gravel under it but so much stuff over it because that's all kind of stuff that skid steer won't get through very well anyway i don't feel like riding a bike through the wire because i'm not taking it all the way down 
So I got another couple handfuls of stuff to pack over there. Oh, I got back from getting the traveler going. Put tools away. Retorqued that head. Three or four of them bolts moved just a tiny little bit. I'll probably do it again tomorrow. And uh, I left the bike sitting outside the shop door while I was doing that because it didn't look like it was going to rain. Yeah, it got wet. My butt got wet moving it to the barn. I got wet moving it to the barn. But I thought I'd bring you in here for that unmistakable sound of everything coming off of that roof down to this roof line. I know there's lots of video with a lot of that sound to it. It's just, you know, older video. It's doing a good job of keeping things wet now. I don't know if it's supposed to be dry tomorrow or not, but either today or tomorrow it's supposed to quit doing it for a couple days and do it again. But hey, at least that thing made it inside before it all happened. And I had a few people comment on the shifting on those things. Yeah, if you end up pulling sideways on the stick, you'll slip it and it'll still be in gear. I understand that. Uh, 135 Massey will do the same thing. And uh, you know, at least this one came out of gear easy in the long run. I just took a long time to weasel it around and mostly popped out of gear because I got somebody in the cab to play with it while I was underneath jerking the drive line around a little bit. But uh, I don't think it's an issue with the shift tower. I think it's actually because I'm sitting in a bucket trying to run it, not in the right place to shift. And when you push clutch in, bucket slips to the back of the cab, you're reaching as far as you can. You know, just circumstances. So, anywho, and yeah, those are still empty sitting here. Hopefully in the next couple days. And there's a little bit of barley left in that one. We'll go ahead and mix it up between them. Number three over there is empty. Number six is about half full. So, we'll just run enough to fill them all up. We'll fill that one up too. That'll be, what, one, two, three. We'll get about four times made up one way or the other. Give or take. Be what's in the back of the truck plus some out of one of the bins. Should set up and empty the far bin. It's some only half-filled lightweight spring oats that's a couple years old now. Part of it's been clean so we could seed it, and then that didn't happen, so. But anyway, that'd be the sound of rain. Here's what part of the day has been. Pain in the ass. This is some vinyl laminate. It's supposed to be some really good stuff. Rubber backing on it. Because... We don't want it to be shifting around in back here. The first couple of planks against the back wall are glued in. A little glue beyond that too. They say this stuff, they say, oh yeah, leave a gap, blah, blah, blah. But it really doesn't expand and contract, so it shouldn't be an issue. So hopefully it's not an issue because we didn't leave it a lot of room. I mean, they say quarter inch and I got eighth to a quarter on the end. We started out against away from the wall a little bit, but by the time you get them all together, they're a little snug. And I gotta go cut that piece, notch it for the end wall right there. And then I have a whole row that get trimmed for here. And her plan is to have all this done by Thursday. I don't know that that's gonna happen, but because yeah, the only good thing is the main floor in here is smooth and flat. This had the carpet glued down to it, so we're having to overcome the glue residue we couldn't get off. And it's not 
the best subfloor to be using for it, but it's going to work. The ends were part way done. So this is how I'm spending the rest of my evening. Did you tell a wife for sale? Yeah, wife for sale. You want a buyer? <laughs> there she is. Free. Come you get her. her. Come get her. Uh, I wouldn't be that mean to y'all. But hey, while we're here, look at this. We can look out the window. And there's cows out there. Kind of fuzzy looking through two panes of window. And ah, as I hit my head on a light that I usually sit underneath so I don't hit it. But look through the screen, you can see them better. Ah, there they are. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. You know my misery if you've done it before. Uh, we sent number two to town to pick up some stuff because we're going to cheat. We're not going to put molding around the bottom. We're going to put colored caulking. And uh, the couch sits there had, anyway. Had a block picked up while well, she was in town. She picked that up. I was using the scrap once we figured it out because the destructions just say slip it together. But Becky brought up a YouTube video and the guy was laying the same stuff and he used the block and all that stuff. Went so much easier. Thank you, YouTube. Yeah, thank you, YouTube. And uh, the other thing he said, which I feel and figured out in the destructions, you know, the destructions are a foot and a half long sheet of paper, fine print. You start, you start in the left corner and work your way out. That way it flips right. But I was thinking we were going wrong because we were having trouble getting it to snap together right. Until, of course, we started using the block and didn't take much to beat it together. So, anyway, there it is. That's my Sunday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, yeah, and most of my day was actually outside doing farm work. Not in here doing this. This stuff, I don't mind doing it, but I get narrow-minded.